What's up, anime lovers? It's a beautiful day to dive deep into the wonderful world of anime characters and their unparalleled might. If you're as excited as we are, make sure you hit that subscribe button, punch the like button and share our videos to keep the anime love flowing. Now, let's get ready to rumble. Before we dive into the thrilling discussion, we have something super cool for our Funko Pop collectors out there. We've linked some amazing casual Saitama and Goku Funko Pops in the description below. Go ahead and add these fantastic figures to your collection. Alright, onto our main event. The debate that has the anime community split right down the middle. An epic clash between two of the mightiest heroes in the anime verse, Goku, the Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball, and Saitama, the One Punch Man. Who packs the more powerful punch? Let's find out. Two epic figures, both synonymous with strength and power. Goku, the superpowered scion from Dragon Ball who's been a part of our lives since the 80s, and Saitama, the hilarious, nonchalant hero from One Punch Man who defies every trope we've grown accustomed to. Despite their shared reputation for unbelievable strength, there's an argument to be made for why Saitama is stronger. Let's dive in. At first glance, Saitama doesn't seem like much. A B-class hero who's just a plain old human. No regenerative abilities or magic. No superhuman ancestry. Yet, Saitama displays as much strength as Goku's Super Saiyan forms with little to no effort. The real kicker. We still haven't seen him go all out. Then we have Goku, a Saiyan warrior with a penchant for training hard and pushing his limits. He's known to go to other planets, spar with friends, and even use a gravity machine to train under 100 times gravity. Goku loves a good brawl and grows stronger through his battles. So, what if our bald-headed hero decided to mix up his usual 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10 km run routine and train like Goku? We can only imagine the magnitude of his power. Given how he's gained such strength through just traditional methods, we can speculate that Goku's kind of training might make him more formidable. Yes, they're both powerhouses. Yes, they're both insanely strong. But there's one major difference, Saitama has not yet had to tap into his full power. Goku, on the other hand, frequently hits his limit in his battles. At the end of the day, Goku will always be a legend. He's our super scion. But when it comes to raw strength and potential for growth, Saitama takes the crown. Is it fair to compare an alien warrior to an ordinary human turned hero? Maybe not. But isn't it crazy how this ordinary man can even stand on the same pedestal? Remember, geek, at the end of the day, this is all in the spirit of fun, right? We absolutely love both Goku and Saitama for their unique quirks and spectacular feats of strength. We want to hear from you, who do you think wins this face-off? We're waiting to read your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fun comparisons and don't forget about the awesome Funko Pops we mentioned earlier. Those casual Saitama and Goku figures could be the missing pieces in your collection. The links are waiting for you in the description, so be sure to check them out. One last thing geeks this debate is eternal, just like our love for anime. We'll continue bringing you more exciting discussions, analyses, and face-offs. Remember, the magic of anime lies in its boundless imagination. As much as we love speculating, let's not forget to enjoy each character for their unique charm and story. We'll be back soon with another exciting video. Until then, keep the anime spirit high, keep the discussions flowing, and most importantly, keep enjoying the fantastic world of anime.